Hello, my name is Stephanie Gill. I'm Community Engager at Event Store, and I want to show you just how easy it is to download and get started with Event Store DB. You can download the binary straight from the products page of our website, but I'm going to show you how to install it using Chocolatey. So first we're going to use this command. It's going to start pulling it down. And we want to say yes to this script. It's going to start saying it. Yeah, there we go. EventsDB is an open source state transition database designed for businesses that are ready to harness the true power of event driven architecture to record not just your data, but the transitions that the state of your data goes through at each stage to record a complete history of your data and every event in it. So let's see how I'm trying to show you how to do this using a browser and PowerShell. Now this is finally downloaded. So we're going to run event store using event store.clusternode.exe.dev and it's going to start running. There we go. So now that we've got this going, we can see how it's going to look through the browser interface. So in your browser, and I'm using Chrome, uh, you go to localhost at the default port. I'll reload because I had it open already. Hello, super easy. If you're not logged in already, it might come up with a login screen. The details for which are the username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is change it, all lowercase. Use that to begin with and then change it to be more secure. So this is what EventStoreDB looks like. This is, this is the UI. We've got the dashboard with all sorts of lovely information here. Um, Event Store stores not just your data, as I said before, but it, the transitions your data goes through over time. State transitions are events that record not just what's changed, but why it's changed in the order that those changes occurred. It creates a permanent, unchangeable log of all the transitions of the data has gone through. They don't overwrite data, so no data is ever lost. Each transition event is stored in a stream that can be read or queried as needed. You can move up and down the stream of events, giving you new insights and power, the power to make better, more informed decisions that you can trust. So if we look here, we have the stream browser and you can see all the streams that are running. Uh, there's projections up here, uh, query, persistent subscriptions, admin users, logouts. You can make some suggestions, changes you need. Um, but I'm going to show you how to add an event just now um, in this video. So you click on add event and it brings you to the screen. We need to populate these two fields, the stream ID and the event type. The stream is where events are saved, typically for an aggregate or some kind of entity. Um, an example of um, an aggregate could be an order in a system. So we're going to name the stream ID order123 as a, an example stream ID. An event type uh, tells you what kind of event has just happened. Has the order been placed? Has it been received or processed or shipped? Uh, the event type needs to be, it needs to be descriptive accurate and in the past tense. So for the event type here, we're going to put order shipped. And now we can populate the data. So we're just going to put a simple hello world greeting. And that's it, we just get add. You see it successfully added. And when we go back to the stream browser, we can see order one, two, three. We can see the, the event is there, we click there, and we can see Hello World. That is how easy it is to get started. Um, next time I'll show you how to do how to add an event through uh, PowerShell. So it could be nice and easy rather than through the UI. Um, and there'll be more videos coming out like this explaining how to use events or DB. So if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments or check out our discuss group link below. Stay tuned for more videos on how to use Event Store and have a pleasant day.